Hello there crafters, this is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room and I'm going to show you two of my favorite techniques using uh, the embossing folder and in particular the Country Floral 3D. This is one of my favorites just because the uh, flowers are uh, very dimensional, especially this beautiful rose. And so one of the techniques I use is using same color ink and same color paper. And this particular paper is So Saffron. And I use the So Saffron ink and then this was the end result. So I'm going to show you how we did that. And so there again is our same color paper and ink. So this is Highland Heather. We're just going to put the paper over there for a minute. Open up our ink pad. And then we want to use where we see the Stampin' Up! logo. That's the front. And that's what we want to put down on our table. And we are just going to uh, rub it onto the folder, directly onto the folder. And sometimes it's hard to get, so I tend to kind of go just go a little bit on the other side just to make sure it's, it's all covered. And once you smear it on a little bit, then I like to dab it. And if you only want a little bit of color, you can stop there. I want to have it a little bit darker. So then you just kind of keep going and apply a little bit more. It doesn't look very dark. And yet when we are finished, just like we saw in the So Saffron, you're going to see that this background is a lot darker. And you can, oh, there's a little piece of sponge. Let's get that off there. There we go. And oh, I see a little uneven stamping right there. That looks good. Oh, there's that spot again. There we go. So put the ink over there. And then what we're going to do is take again our Highland Heather paper and put it directly onto the embossing folder. Try not to slide it. And close it up. And then we're going to take and currently I am still using the Big Shot until we get the new one, um, which I can hardly wait, but we have to be a little more patient. So in the meantime, we'll just use this. That's what I've got. And now, here we go. This is always the magic when you open up, oh, I'm going the wrong side. So there we go. This is the beautiful folder um, that we inked and now we've inked it on the paper so very very pretty and you can use this all by itself you could add um, and you don't have to add much because it's got so much detail maybe just a piece of ribbon or just a sentiment um, and you have a beautiful card and when we have our dirty uh, embossing folder all you have to do is just rinse it under water and it washes really clean so not to worry about that and same thing, that would have been a good idea. Let me just use my cloth here. At least to get off the major part. Okay, so then now I'm going to show you my other favorite technique. And with this, um, you need to emboss your paper first. So it just depends, again, what color you're using. I tend to use quite often the white. And as you can see, just the white embossed is actually very very pretty and I've done wedding cards with that too and it looks absolutely gorgeous and so here's a few samples of again the white and I have um, done it different ways so this is still actually the old technique sorry <laughs> of using the ink but I inked instead of same color uh, paper I inked it on white paper so I'm just going to show you a few colors. There's again the different yellow. Here is one of the blues. Quite a nice effect. Here's again the green. And then this I just put a little bit of color. But again, it can be very effective. So again, it just depends what you want to make on your card. But it can look very, very pretty. So again, sorry, now we're going to go to the embossing folder. And I'm going to show you a few things that I've done. And one is I have used just a plain 
green sponge dabbler and I have then just gone over the high spots and then you get that effect on the, the white paper. So again, if you're wanting a particular color, you can do it all in one color or you can do what I did here is I took my white but I added a whole bunch of colors. So again, I have my Highland Heather and um, I have my, uh, this particular one, I use Mem Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green. And all you do in this one is take your um, whatever color, I'll try the purple. So here's our dabblers. I, use, I like to use one for each color, just so the colors don't mix too much. But you just dab it onto your stamp pad, and then you're gonna go right into the flower. And I find when you're doing these ones, you can um, just get the highest points, and you're just going to sponge them. When I do the big rows, I find it's so deep that I kind of like to start in the middle and do a little twisting all the way around the high points. And um, that's where you get a nice effect of the purple. And again, you just keep going around and you just get all the high spots. And again, sometimes when I'm doing it, I do tend, when you're going down, I do tend to kind of go this way instead of going that way because I find then I get the background. So if I go from the middle going out, I find I have a nicer effect that way. So yeah, and you can do whatever color. In this particular one, I just kept it the same as to particular flowers as being a different color. And you can go from there. Here's another sample that I did, and I didn't do the pink, but I um, just did the uh, two kinds of colors, or the two kind of uh, flowers. Um, in similar colors. So again, very nice effect. I actually used both of these uh, for an Easter card and they looked really, really cute, but can be for any occasion and very bright and cheery and, and uh, colorful. So that again is another one of my favorites. And um, then we can use, um, that's using multiple colors. Now, if we take um, a car, oh, I'm going to show you this one first. Don't peek at that one. This particular one is the blue, um, balmy blue. And I've taken our uh, craft white ink. And again, I'm going to use the dabbler. And you can use a sponge too. I just find that I like to, um, being able to control where my sponge is, um, and the I mean the dabbler, whereas the sponge kind of goes all over the place. And as you can see by doing this, it's looking very almost like a vintage heritage kind of look. So again, you're just going to go from the middle, and you go out, and you can see how easy that is. That does not take a lot of effort at all. And here's that rose again. And again, I start in the middle and then I go out. So simple, 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 but what a beautiful effect that it does. So again, this is not doing the leaves a different color from the flowers. You can just try to reach all the high spots using the white and it has a nice subtle effect but it's very effective. So you just keep going all the way around and there you would have a beautiful card. I won't finish it right now. I'm going to show you this one that I did actually on the pink. And um, all I did on this one is I did an ad additional deep um, rose and I fussy cut it out. And then I actually used a little Wink Estella on there as you can see a little bling on there and this particular one I also used um, the clear embossing powder um, as I embossed that sentiment and of course in a little more bling I just took some um, rhinestones and put it on a few of the flowers and what a beautiful card just like that 
So those are two of my favorites and I hope you can try them out. And if you have any questions, just let me know and you can go to Madeline's Craft Room or my website um, through Stampin' Up and I uh, would love to um, answer any of your questions or uh, if I can help you in, in, in any way, let me know. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.